Okay, everyone. Um, this is um, a games format that you're probably familiar with, and um, it's a, I find it a really good one for doing like um, end of unit quizzes, uh, summaries of grammar points learnt. Um, I'll give you um, an example of how to use it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Let's go to here. Okay. All right. Who wants to be a millionaire? This is pretty much universally recognised, I and mean, every country in the world has a, a version of this game. So you students are going to be familiar with it. Oh look, this is the guy who actually prepared it. There you go, lovely picture of him. All right, let's move on. Okay, so look at it, it's quite a authentic design. Um, really good for generating a, a competitive atmosphere in the classroom. Okay, so here you go, look at that. Answer 15 questions and uh, the class is successful. They did it. So the first question, doo -doo 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 all right, so you've got everything you'd normally have in the game. So question one, as you can see, I haven't put any of the data I want to use into the uh, PowerPoint format yet. This is just to show you how to do it. So you're going to have question one and a choice of four answers. At the moment, you don't know this is the correct answer. Um, this will all become clear when I start putting information in. Okay, so what do we do? Okay, students. Here's your question. What is the correct answer? 50-50, um, I might say, OK, ignore, ignore B and ignore D. All you can do is choose from A and C. Phone a friend. Um, they can ask one of their classmates uh, for their advice on the answer. And ask the audience. Uh, you can take a vote from everybody in the class. So you can use all of these uh, within the class, actually. There's a couple of nice little buttons here. Is that your final answer? Is that your final answer? Ha 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 ha! Okay, if the students make a joke or they do something funny, you can have a bit of laughter. Okay, da da dum. C was the correct answer. I do that by pressing enter. Then you can move on and keep working through it like this. Okay, question two. All right, so let me press escape to get out of this. Let's go back to question one. All right, so how do we prepare this? Okay. Let's think of um, a typical grammar question. Okay. Uh, I um, let's think of something. Um, I. Da, da, da. Uh, oh, right. Okay. So what's the missing? What's the missing information? What's in the gap? I is. Okay. I be. I do. All right. Okay. And here, you have to. First of all, drag that out of there. I am, and underneath, I am. All right, so then we drag this back on top, like that. OK. So first question's ready. Now let's, uh, let's take a look at how that appears when we uh, play the game. All right. First question for $100. I something a teacher. What's what's the missing information here? Okay, how do we fill this gap correctly? I is, I am, I be, I do. Alright, so when they give you the answer, there we go. I am a teacher. Yay, well done. And that's the basic premise of this game. Um, and like I said, um, I, I usually look at the questions at sort of the end of unit of a course book. What what sort of end of quiz roundup, end of unit roundup quiz do they have? And I put it into this format. It just makes it a bit more enjoyable and um, you can involve everybody in the class. So that's how I use this. Um, I've included it here so you can, you can sort of 